Hey everybody, today I have the Coolertron HD capture card. This is able to record in 1080p at 30 frames per second, 16 megabits per second as well. So this is a very good capture card if you have the right reasons for it. So if you're a gamer and you want to put it on your, you want to use it to record your PS4 or your Xbox One, I haven't tested it out personally, I probably wouldn't try it. I have actually only tested this on my computer and the Wii U and it didn't even work on my computer. I started out using this on my on my computer. Uh, I do have a AMD graphics card and I was looking at my recording and I, did, I found out there was no audio. So I talked to the seller on Amazon and they said, well, if it's HDCP, there's not going to be any audio recording. The other odd thing that I don't really like about this is that you're not even able to hook it up to your computer. So this is not an HD live gamer box, kind of like Avermedia or Elgato. Now this is a very affordable option if you're looking for something cheap to re record your Wii U. And by when I say Wii U, I mean, I would only trust it with the Wii U. I've tested it, it works, it looks pretty nice. So let's go over a little bit of what this thing offers. So this thing does have an input and an output for HDMI. It also has an input for a component. Uh, on the other side, it does have a mic in, a line in, and a mic out. Uh, I did hear that, and I haven't tested it myself, that the you can't really use a mic if you're using HDMI. The one thing I do like about this box is that it is very ease of use. All you need is a USB, you plug it in, and then you hit record, and it starts. It does come with ArcSoft, which is, you know, stupid editing program that they have. Any video editor uh, will be able to edit this, this stuff. If you're looking for something that's a cheap altern alternative, to live streaming, this is not what you want. This is a casual, I'm gonna play my video games and I would just like to record it. Now, while I was playing The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, I did notice when I was riding Epona, it was a little, a little fuzzy and you can kind of see a little pixelation uh, in, in the video when you're going at, at high speeds when it has to render a lot. But for the most part, I think it looks very nice. So when this records to the USB, it'll get to a, a max of about two gigabytes, which is about 15 minutes of, of gameplay. And then it will decide to make a, a, a new file. So like I said, this is a cheaper option when you compare it to Avermedia and Elgato. So if you don't want to dish out the $150 for an Elgato box or Avermedia box, this is an, a very cheap option. Well, not extremely cheap, but this is a cheaper option instead of you're only paying, you know, 80 bucks or so when Elgato is at least 150.